25th anniversary draft will consist of six talented duelists going head-to-head in old-school sealed duels. Each episode, the contestants will open eight packs of an iconic duel monster set from the 25th anniversary legendary collection, from which they'll choose a card to add to their card pool. The rest of the cards are passed to the left and the process repeats until all the cards have been taken. Each duelist must construct a deck from their card pool and then duel another adversary. But these are no normal duels. At the beginning of every third turn, random events shall be declared that can change the tide of the duel or even the tournament itself. Thus, defeat will never be inevitable, not until that last life points hits zero. In our efforts to crown a champion, each duelist will play each other once over the course of five episodes. Now, the fun and games begin. All right, guys, I'm super happy to be sharing with you the 25th anniversary draft. I'm here with a lot of my good friends and great duelists, ready to draft some old cards with a bit of a twist. Now, LOB is a bit weak for my liking, so we've also added on MRD for the first episode, because otherwise, just playing with, with straight vanillas, not interesting enough. So, we should have an action packed video with two drafts in this uh, episode, and uh, I'm looking forward to see who wins. If it'll be myself, if it'll be Team Canada, Team America, a lot to find out. Hi, uh, Ryan, you here. Not Ryan Levine, that's the other one. Uh, I'm excited to be on Jesse's draft series. I don't have a lot of draft experience. I've done it once before on uh, Sam's Duel Night, but I did manage to win that one, so I'm hoping this will go similarly. Hi, my name is John Wilkin. Uh, thank you so much, Jesse, for having me on. I'm super excited to check out what's going on with uh, LOB and Metal Raiders. I'm not really sure what strategy I want to do. Um, I know that you know it's going to be a lot based around the vanilla monsters, like tap points, equipped spells. That's kind of what I'm thinking going into this. Hopefully, I get you know a blue eyes pot of greed. But you know, I think uh, I think as the we go to metal raiders, that's where the real strategy is going to kick in with some of the more powerful monsters like Sangan, Witch of the Black Forest. That's what I'm kind of going to be gunning for in the draft. Hey, Brian Levine, uh, here for the 25th anniversary draft. I do cube quite often with uh, my friends in Virginia, but we do a Rochester style draft where the whole cube is kind of put on the table and then you pick and everything's face up. So I don't often pack draft, but I know enough about these old cards, I've been playing the game for long enough that I have a pretty good idea of what I want to be getting from each set and the direction I want my deck to be taking throughout the draft. Hey, Max Reynolds here. Very excited to be a part of this special draft series for the 25th anniversary set. Really looking forward to digging in, playing with some cards that I haven't really gotten to use in a while. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to it. Hey guys, it's Ned. We're about to start episode one of the 25th anniversary draft. This is my second time doing a draft is the thing with these sets. Jesse and I and a few other friends did a progression series style dra uh, sealed draft before. So we have, I have a little bit of an expect a idea of what's gonna happen going in. Okay, so ready for the first draft. We got eight packs of LOB here and the one promo card, which we can kind of tell which one we have. Although we have to draft them. <laughs> yeah, I can tell mine is always not hard to tell. Um, that's a, good luck guys. Draft? Yep. Sure. Go. Nice. My first pick here is Raigeki, one of the absolute strongest cards in early Yu-Gi-Oh! It was banned for probably almost a decade. So having this for the rest of the draft series is going to be great. As long as it doesn't get stolen, it's looking good. And luckily my pack didn't have other crazy bombs. It had some good cards like Fissure, Manor Bug, which while are good, I wasn't passing anything crazy like Monster Reborn. So I think I'm in a good spot for now, hoping to pick up some other good cards in the next sets. Not super happy with the packs I have. Um, although I guess as long as there's one good card, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna pass the rest of it. So maybe this is a blessing in disguise. I'm gonna go ahead and pick Manular Bug as the first one. The rest of these don't seem super great. Yeah, I think this is the only one that really sticks out as just a standalone good card and will be good pretty much throughout the next sets. So for my first pick, I took Pot of Greed. Pretty obvious. If you guys don't know what it does, it draws two cards. Uh, there weren't really any other good cards in the pack, so I guess I'm fine with that. So I, I opened my packs and <laughs> there aren't really that many things that stick out in LOB. Um, obviously, you'd like to see like Pot of Greed, Raigeki, anything uh, of note, and I see like Mr. Glelf is the only thing that has remote uh, use. Everything else is not not too great. Um, so I just took that because it's 2K defense, not too many things can uh, you know deal with it. First pick, I had Pot of Greed and Raigeki. I was debating between the two. I was like, okay, I could draw two cards that's really powerful, but I wanted to make sure that I had a way to out those big attack monsters like you know, the Blue Eyes, White Dragon, Dark Magician. So so I made the hard decision. I decided to go with Regeki and pass on Pot of Greed. 
So my first pick for the draft in my first pack was Mystical Elf. So when I got my pack, I felt like a lot of the monsters in my first round of cards didn't have a realm enough attack. But Mystical Elf having 2,000 defense, I thought it would be more important early on. I feel like as the draft goes on, these normal monsters are just going to be less and less relevant. But having a monster with a stat that's harder for other monsters to uh, run over, I thought it would be more important. Because as we get tribute monsters, we want I want to be able to drop those monsters since they actually have a relevant amount of attack. And I think they'll be harder to deal with than grabbing a monster at 13 or 1400 attack that can be outed by something with a higher attack threshold. Okay, you can see here over these next few picks, I managed to accrue a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Red Eyes Black Dragon, and a Slifer the Sky Dragon. Now this may be a lot of big monsters, however with the event cards, they're way easier to summon and they can turn the tide of the game incredibly fast. Now, having the access to those that other people won't, I think, would be crucial for meaning I can come back from games where I should lose, and it's harder for them to come back in games where I have the lead. So, I am liking my strategy thus far. Late in the draft, I decided to take my deck in sort of a spellcaster fiend direction, so I got three copies in a row of the field spell Yami. Uh, it boosts the attack and defense of all the spellcasters and fiends on the field by 200, and it also lowers fairy monsters. So I think this is probably going to be the central idea of my deck from be the beginning of the series. All right, towards the end here, uh, there's basically only vanillas left. I'm just going to grab all of the burn cards. I doubt I'll use them. Maybe, maybe I'll use them in the first in the first match, but they'll probably phase out of my deck eventually, or I can transition into just a full burn deck later. So I think I'll pick these up. There's no real punish. I don't need 17 more vanilla monsters. I pick Wing Dragon of Raw as my kind of early on in the draft, I felt like my deck didn't really have strong monsters, but I felt like having the walls like Giant Soldier of Stone, Mystical Elf, cards like that, would give me a chance to summon Winged Dragon of Raw, which would give me a chance to summon a monster that would be very hard to deal with. Also gives me a chance to get lucky with some of the event cards, so it at least gives me an opportunity to summon Raw, which can give me a win condition and give me a high attack monster, which is something I was scared about not having early on in the draft. As I'm choosing cards, uh, it's LOB, so there's really not any like real strategy other than beatdown. Like you, you can hardly even control the game because there aren't really that many defensive traps. So uh, in my mind, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna take uh, anything big. So I went with uh, the Skull Redbird, 1550. And then if you have um, a mountain with it, it's 1750. There's not too many things that can contest that. And then the, uh, the Urabis, I mean, I saw the first one and I was like, you know, like this is 15. And then if I see the uh, the rising body heat, is that the spell that boosts dinosaurs? I think I think that's it. Um, you know, if I see rising body heat, it's even bigger. Uh, then Wasteland pairs with it as well, uh, and the zombie card. So I was just, you know what, I'll take these Urabis. And then, you know, once I got one, I got two, I got three, and then I had four. And, you know, it just didn't stop from there. Okay, so LOB is, as you guys could tell from, you'll see the picks we got. It's not a playable set. Oh, it's great. set, not close. <laughs> we knew going in, it would not make an interesting video to play that, so uh, we're skipping that as an episode, and MRD is going to be mixed into the first episode. So, eight more packs, uh, so we only double draft episode, but again. Okay. Metal Raiders here, my pack a lot less solid. I don't have crazy staples in Magician of Faith. I don't have Mirror Force, don't have Psalm Judgment, don't have Heavy Storm. Saying in which are fantastic. However, for the time being, I didn't draft Man Eater Bug. And in this set, there's nothing really great to add besides Magician of Faith, which I likely won't get to see. So they aren't very effective right now. However, they'll be good in the future, and they're still okay right now, so I'm going to keep taking the Witch, especially given that I have no other choices. Should be okay. Would have liked something a little better. We'll see how the rest of this draft pans out. Mirror first, this is great. I got another really easy pick for my first pack of Metal Raiders. Uh, I'm, re I'm hoping I can use this because I don't think there's a lot of spell trap destruction that we have right now. So up in my pack, I see Witch of the Black Forest and I realize that that card's just going to age really well as I continue drafting, so I, I take that. Um, the next pack that I open, uh, another really obvious choice is just another Witch of the Black Forest and I'm feeling really good about that. All right, much better than LOB, uh, although, there are a ton of good cards here. It's gonna be a tough choice. I think I'm gonna go with Heavy instead of Sangan. 
as good as Sangan is, as good as getting multiple Sangans and witches, especially going into the later stages, Heavy Storm is too good to, to pass up. So unfortunately, I didn't get really many good cards from uh, Metal Raiders. My first pack, not even a seven colored fish. I just had Robin Goblin. Robin Goblin's pretty cool because every time I do battle damage, it gets rid of one of my opponent's cards. So I'm kind of hoping that I'm able to do some hand control kind of stuff, make sure that I'm able to keep the pace of the game at my control and um, always stay one step ahead of my opponent. That's what I'm hoping for with that card. Fancy seeing you here. If it isn't Ned. Yeah. Right. Can we high roll? We can. Whatever you want to do. Right. High roll, low roll. What do you want to do, Ned? Mm, up to you. Here, high roll, go. Okay. Three. Nice. Four. I will begin. We'll begin? Okay. Good luck. Good luck. Oh, well. <laughs> Come on, Ned. Have some respect. Never. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Okay. We're going places. I will set this monster in defense position, and I'll activate the field spell Sogan. <laughs> Sogan? Can I read it? Is this, yeah. uh, is this the warrior one? Yes. Warrior Beast Warrior is gaining 200? Okay. You can go. I can go. You may go. I will draw. Turn two. The games begin on my turn. The games begin. The Pegasus that can start revealing itself. Oh, that's true, yes. The events. Mm -hmm. um, I will set a monster in defense mode as well and pass to you, Ned. I will draw and I will activate the power of the Pegasus. Just power Pegasus just, deck. The it just card. happens. Metamor <laughs> no! <laughs> What is it? What is this? Oh, right. Uh, we just both take our monsters and we you get a fusion. fusion monster at the same levels. Are you summon? Yeah. Okay. My cocoon of evolution becomes flame ghost. <laughs> Wait, is that? It's a two. Oh, star. is it two star? Right. What? What? It's a three. Oh, it's three for three. I can't read. Okay. Unless like you, can I get a seven? So I attribute it to two. No. Oh. You can summon a four. Should have brought my. I didn't pack it. <laughs> I did Ned not register. Pack, I did, did not register. Lunch, yeah. I did not register. All right, well, I will start with the seven color fish. Oh dear, yes. <laughs> it, 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 it
I don't like two cards um, at once. What two card combo is about to happen? I will. Tribute to the Doom. Place germ infections <laughs> on both of your monsters. I feel like I really had to use the infections here because my life points were not, you know, going up <laughs> at this point in the game, and I had no way to deal with these monsters. The the fish was what 18, and the Cerberus was 21. Um, so I had to invest two of these germ infections to really keep these monsters at bay and make them at a size where I can actually, you know, compete with them. Because at the moment, everything I'm summoning is at most 1,700. <laughs> and just the fish has 18. So that, that wasn't very good for me. So I definitely had to try something here. Go ahead. All right, I will draw. Time to flip a Pegasus card. What do you got? Time Magic 1000. Flip a coin. If heads destroy all monsters on the... No! I just put two <laughs> germ infections on the floor. <sighs> okay. Um, Wait, I think I have it from. No, if, this, this is if, broken for you. <laughs> if heads destroy all monsters on the turn player's field. Yes, so mine. Yours, yeah. yeah. And then if it's tails, yours go. Yeah. All right, Jesse. What? This is. I'm assuming she is heads. Huh? Yeah. You want to flip it back? You want to decide your fate? You can do it. Queen Elizabeth is heads. I guess so. Yeah. Later! <laughs> Actually, it could have been worse. Same here. Yes. Do you have a thousand dragon to summon? No. <laughs> Nobody pulled thousand dragon. I'll take uh, the unhappy maiden. <laughs> You're, I have to destroy. Why? I have to destroy by card effect. By battle, it says. That's card Sent to grave as a result of battle. Oh, well. Uh, and those, those fellows are down 300 a slice. Oh, it's one in each? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is even easier. <laughs> I'll say my own field spell. Okay. So Bob, your field spell. Yes. Well, when in doubt, oh yeah, yeah. I'll just flip it. Okay. I will normally summon my man. Your man, yes. There he is. I will enter my battle phase. Yep. 18, 15, 18. Ow. Minus 18, <laughs> minus 18, minus 15. You're at 2,900. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will end my turn. Alright, okay. Set a mysterious turn and they'll pass. Alright, I will draw. Interesting. Down three, down so, three. Yeah, they're down six each. I will set a monster in defense. Ah. Yeah, whatever. I will attack the card. I wonder what it could possibly be. Yes, the battle phase is not over. That is unfortunate. Thanks to my unhappy maiden. I will end my turn. Pegasus time. Please. <laughs> Something good. <gasps> fusion Fury! No. Till the end of this turn, each player can collect fusion zone you from hand, deck, or field without using polymerization. So now, Ned, I can oh, fuse no. from my deck <laughs> for a monster to get me out of this situation. It sounds like a futuristic Yu Gi Oh card. I wonder what it could possibly be. I will send Ancient Brain. Oh, no. And Tainted Wisdom. No! To no! To the Almighty. <laughs> The all-powerful Skull Knight. That is a big monster. 2650, Ned. That is a very big monster. The one skill that gives him a big monster. This is crazy. Yes, this is exactly something I played for with Draft. I, the Ancient Brain and the Tainted Wisdom were cards that really wheeled around the table. Uh, very happy to get them to summon the Skull Knight, which in theory should just be big enough to deal with just about anything in the draft. So at this point, I think, you know, the, the tide is turning in my favor. This boosts, uh, what, zombies and... Zombies, dinosaurs, and rocks. Rocks. Big rock. How do I deal with the Skull Knight? That's the real question. So he's 15, he's 12. This is all, right? It's mine too? Mm-hmm. Okay. All inclusive. I'll play G-Rock. Yes. Yeah, okay. Skull Knight over this. So it's 950. Yeah. And then that doesn't fall. Uh, and then we'll just kill, uh, I guess the Cerberus? Sure. Or, so. mm, I think I'll leave that. I'll just hit, I'll just hit this. Because we're just going to keep going down here. Uh, this is only once, right? Make sure. Oh yeah, one fusion. Okay. 
can't just feel it. Uh, go ahead. Draw. So it's turn three. Well, 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 Max. <laughs> I'll sacrifice my two monsters. What? And summon Saga of the Thunder. Oh, oh. But wait, yes. there's more. Okay. I'll activate the spell card Stim Pack. Oh, Lord. Okay. So he becomes 3300. Yes. I'll attack your Skull Knight. I guess it didn't matter. I just have a big enough monster anyway. So I take... 650. 650. And if I attack that, I die, basically. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Correct. I'm at 23? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. I will end my turn. Okay. Draw. First I walk up. Unless the skill save you again. It will. Set. Please don't. Set. Go for it, Ned. I will draw. Alright, I guess it's time. Alright, let's see it. For the next three turns, the weaker monster wins the bat. Yes! Wait, so, it, so I have a question. Work if I run into this. Oh, uh, okay. So if okay. so, can I attack his defense position? So he wouldn't die. Right? You would die, but you deal damage with the person. It doesn't. I see. Oh, so even if he like swings into a set, it would just kill it. Or uh, well, because the bat when it when monsters battle, the weaker stat wins. I mean, that would just mean it that it wouldn't die. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. It's not like it's crashing. For the next three turns. Oh, oh, sure. So I need something with less than 800 attack. 800. Or less than 1,000 to kill it. 1,000, yeah. That is so annoying. <laughs> I guess this is a plan. <laughs> I will summon a uh, Blade Fly. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> all wind monsters gain 500 attack. All earth monsters lose 400 attack. <laughs> okay. I'll attack your set monster. So this so, dies because of this? Yep. Okay. Wait, yes. Yeah. So I lose 300? Oh, is this defense? 14. Six, 16. 16. I lose 500. Okay. Proceed. Draw. <laughs> You're slow rolling these scales, Max. That's the only way I can win. Um, we have a few more turns of big guy, or little <laughs> guy wins. That's good. I have a plan. Um, I have a plan to bypass these, uh, these rules. You got nothing, man. I have a plan, don't you worry. Because uh, if I run into this, I'll just take the damage, right? Yeah. You'll die. It'll, you literally yeah, die. die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Draw. Interesting. Well. What happens if it's a draw? Nothing? Nothing. Stalemate? So this is down another two, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So it's, uh, it's up three total. I will summon Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. Yeah, sure. I'll attack your set monster. She holds. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it dies. I why? Just, why won't the weaker monster? I have less. Oh, I think. I see. You don't think it doesn't die. It doesn't die. It doesn't die. Okay. Yeah. It just wins again. Wow, Max, you're slow rolling. It'd be a shame if I drew didn't stop the fence right now or have it. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> <Got my head. laughs> no way. Uh, draw. All right. Card flips. Card flips. What we got? Trading places. <gasps> Swap life points. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> okay. Now, now Ned crumbles. Now he's got my life points. And I've got his. And I'll tell you, I was not doing very much damage to him. But now, I've got a plan. That is so... <laughs> I'm so tilted. Okay. Uh... <laughs> this is just not fair. All according to plan. <laughs> <laughs> what plan? Pop off. All according to plan. Dinosaur zombie rock. This thing, does this lower? It lowers the attack. <laughs> of earth. Oh, that's yeah. actually really annoying. But it's not that big of a deal. Complain I more. I lose five? 400. Four? Yeah. There's no way I'm dying after all this. I I'm not killing you this turn, but I mean, like, I got a little method of madness now. I yeah, but a little something going. Pegasus cards are straight, like free rolling you crazy. That was the plan. Uh, very calculated. Yeah, I think I throw another Robbie. Uh huh. Offensive formation with the other. He's fast on his feet, Matt. I'm watching. The stampede's coming. I can't uh, wait. Let's walk over. Is it? 
this is down five as well. Right? It, yeah, basically you're it's up to you're, you're up to hundred. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we'll hit over this. So I take. He's twelve. I take a hundred. And then I'll kill that. Sorry, I take two hundred. My two thousand to your sixty-four. It's crazy, Max. Stealing everything from me. Who would have thought? Uh, go ahead. I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting cheese so badly. This is not real. <laughs> I will normally summon the armored lizard. Armored lizard, you. Yeah. Yeah. Attack. So it's 27 on each. 20, you take a thousand. The armored lizard will attack the unforgiving me. I will phase is over, Ned. That is a shame. I don't know how I'll financially recover from that. <laughs> All right, Max. I will end my turn. Uh, actually, yeah, on my turn. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, they just set a monster. I uh, will knock over that. I think 200. I'm at 1700. All right. Here we go. Go ahead. Literally anything can happen right now. I will draw. Please. Attack and defense points are swapped. Yeah, Max, he's, he's becoming more. Uh, he's becoming more. Uh, he's becoming uh, workable. He's still quite good. He is a, he's a formidable opponent. Well, while I sell some life in him, I'll kill the, uh, the Irby. Irby. So you have 52 to my 17. Yes. I will set a monster in defense mode. And I will end my turn. Draw. He's terrible. <laughs> Why is this in my deck? I sounded that. Uh. I can't believe I have to basically kill you twice. Who would have thought? I have a plan. I don't, no you don't. There's no plan. You have a plan. I am going to tribute set. Oh my god. And then I'll search with my witch. I will allow it, even though I can't stop it. I'll add shadow ghoul off of the witch. <laughs> what is going on here? This is no, there's no way this is your plan. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> no, you're not keeping a monster on the field. I refuse to let that happen. Wait, how much defense does that thing have? Oh, it's too late, Ned. Oh, it's 13. 13, okay. Go ahead. <sighs> you just go on your turn. <sighs> All right, I guess. All right, Max, I will summon Reef to Shin Tower. Okay. And if one sim pack's not enough, I'll add a second one. <laughs> oh, my lord. Okay, so it's 23. Uh, and how big is this thing right now? Uh, He is 18. Okay. We'll put it on him, actually. Load him up? We'll load him up. So he's... This is going to be very hard. 25. Okay. Attack. Yeah, my pumpkin is going. <laughs> I'll attack you directly with Ryukushin Power. Uh, thinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, uh, it's just 16. 16. He's a near 16. 16? 16 near. <laughs> Skills going to be so good. Well, you go back to the life. It matters. 17, 25. You're 52. I think a few outs in the day. Um, a few outs. 17. I'll take it. 16. 16. You have a little Karibo hiding under there? 736. Yes. I will end my turn. Come on, come on, come on. Right, Max. What is this? Oh, no. Yes! <laughs> you read it Each. For the next three turns, any time a player summons a monster or activates an effect, their opponent draws a card. Thanks, Max. <laughs> Load me up. Does Stimpack activate? This is the only way. Yeah, go ahead. I'll enter my battle phase. Yeah. Attack. Princess of Sarugi will take 1,500. I see where Putting this is you going. To 400. I can't believe I'm gonna to lose to Burn after I should have killed him by damage turns ago. I, I see what I see what game you're playing here. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so annoying. I got something for you, man. <sighs> <laughs> I wanted you to set one more card, so man, just like there's nothing to set. Go. <laughs> Come on. Still under. Yes. Yes. 
<laughs> one sparks away. Yeah, literally. This is so scary. <laughs> Can I just get the bl the blue eyes thing? That'd be great. Well, if you're on field. I thought it was all it's all monsters, period. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I thought it was the. Oh my god. How are you gonna get it? That's gonna blow up your field. No, I do not. I do not want it. I don't need it. Go ahead. New skill. Okay. Let's see it, Ned. For the next three turns, monsters do not require a tribute to summon. Them. Oh my! So he's what now? He's down another four. We should have been keeping better track of it. Fifteen, right? 15. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> he will be bending the knee for now, I guess. All right, Max, do your worst. I will draw. Uh, the casino's back. I think it is. Not sure. Go ahead. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. Come on, Doc. All right, Max. I heard you're a gambling man. I, I'm a bit of a gambler. Due to the effect of who lets the tribute oh, out. Barrel Dragon. I will activate its effect and summon Sorry. Barrel Dragon. Yes. I will activate Barrel Dragon's special ability. Where's so it? you have to get two out of three? Two heads. Two heads. He d This guy just keeps getting bailed out. Just whatever he needs, whenever he needs it. Who let the tributes out? This could not have come at a worse time for me, especially because the cards that I have been drawing that weren't the burn spells were paralyzing potions, which only work on non-machine monsters. So now he's got a 2600 monster. I can't even stop it from attacking, let alone blow up my, my cards here. I'll target this. Yep. What are the heads? Queen. The queen? Okay. Is that? That's one queen. One to go. Queen of Caribbean. I too. Okay. Just a bug. Play safe or don't play safe. Battle Dragon will attack. You have slain the red, the skull red bird. All right, Max. Other skill, other skill, other skill, other skill, other skill. Other skill. I will end my turn. Okay. I'll draw. Pegasus will give us super rejuvenation. Yes! No! <laughs> yes, give me life, give me life. This was like the worst thing that could have happened. Nice burn deck, Max. I'm not losing yet. We are literally back. All right. I'll kill you three times this I game. I have no win condition anymore. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Ned, if you lose this, you I... can never duel again. <laughs> no, this can kill me. This will kill me before you do. This? No, this. The, oh, the deck. Yeah, yes. you creature saw my board. I'm just dead. <laughs> I lose. I lose my own. Oh thing. my god. I have um, just. You're not. I am rushing you. I have no choice. <laughs> so lame. I'll summon armored yeah. zombie. We'll be at 1700. Yes. Give your wasteland. Yes. Uh, I really don't want to take a set monster. But you could just be setting to. The, the great beast from the skies is, co is calling. I do have five uh, monsters. Yeah, yeah, you do. Just, I'm just gonna run this over. Sure, that, that's allowed. I need to kill you before the skill cup flips up. <laughs> Go ahead, Ned. The skills were very good to me, so I guess I suppose it's only fair. All right, well, I'll activate Barrel Dragon's special ability. Again. Surely he doesn't hit again. Nice. Okay. So he's 300 attack now? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. All right. <laughs> he goes to war. Attack for 30, attack for 26. Owie. All right, Max. I will end my turn here. I will draw. So <laughs> monster. So now it's a skill time. Please. Each oh. player special summons as many monsters just in face up or face down defense position that were destroyed. How many turns ago? Last three turns. This is the last skill. My man's is uh, my man's has no value anymore. <laughs> he was drained of all of his attack points. Down to zero. <laughs> <laughs> he he put up a good fight. He really kept you in the game. 
All right. I'll activate my Barrel Dragon special ability. Why I'll not? <laughs> I'll target your scent monster. Yeah. Tails. Okay. Uh-oh. She may live. Heads. I've it's, seen this story before. <laughs> it's literally 50-50. Uh, it lives. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for dealing some damage. A faithful servant. <laughs> yeah, you, you've served your purpose. All right, I'll enter my battle phase. Yes. I'll attack. Yep. And Barrel Dragon will attack. Fire in the lasers. There goes Armed Ninja. Uh, I'll just get rid of this, I guess. You sure you want to give him a boost potion? It's really <laughs> super negligible at this point. <laughs> All right, Max. I will Just end my turn. Survive. Hope for some good skills. <laughs> uh, Who says you're getting another skill? Oh, I'm getting another skill. Man. You sure about that? Yeah. All right. I'm gonna paralyze him. No. Um, he is stunned. It's just a machine. I can't. <laughs> I drew two of these. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. I will draw. Yeah. All right. Is that two now or three? Or you, two? It's going to activate on your turn. Okay. All right, Max. Yep. This has been fun, but I can't let you have another skill. I'm going to have to Barrel Dragon to target your uh, yes. monster. There's. How do we keep? It's just the same spider. <laughs> Dude, I'm, just, I'm half asleep. Yes. Tails. Okay. 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 I needed that. I will enter my battle phase. Yeah. Barrel Dragon will aim, uh, aim its lasers at you. There goes another zombie. All right. I will set a card face down. What? <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, it's my turn. Yes. New skill, please. Something crazy. Odes and magic. Send all monsters on the field to the graveyard, No. Man. What? There's no way. <laughs> yes. Special as my... Royal Java monsters are... I'll get them Wait, I get five Ojavas? Yeah. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> your board yep, so your board gets sacrificed. <sighs> Later, everything. <laughs> Jesse, why'd you make this? <laughs> And, uh, you're facing the dramas. You're not having fun? I, I don't know about you. I'm not. All right, Max, deal with my, uh, my squad here. How am I supposed to win? I have five Ojamas when I had a five real monsters. Go. <laughs> Go. Please. Wait, there's one card in here that instantly... Instantly, <laughs> instantly what? I think it's the Wing Dragon of Raw. Yeah. <sighs> so one. I need to just draw. I need Ra. Go. I literally need Ra. Two. Or like Dark Mid Blue Eyes myself. I will also settle for that. It's gonna work out. I'll just fire this off. You take the <laughs> Ow. Uh, go ahead. So it's skill time? Yep. Dude. Come on. Something good. Raw. Something good. Oh, I like this game. During each of your standby. Okay, so just apply. You want to read it before I that? Nope. <laughs> I was going to roll and read. I'll, I'll read it then. I'll read it. Uh, for three turns during each standby phase, the turn player rolls a six sided die and, up, and applies the result. Discard a card for one. Uh, two is your opponent discards one card. Three, you draw one. Four, your opponent. Opponent draws a card. Five, destroy a monster opponent control. Six, destroy a monster you control. Oh. I need six. 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 One. I discard a or Oh, you discard a card. <laughs> oh, God. Damn, if I held to reveal. No, what am I I will end my turn. Draw. You're no, I do it. You do it. This is uh, technically on two then, or one? one? One. Six. You destroy a monster on your side. Yeah, no. Six. 
You've been chilling this entire match. What are you doing? Raw, please. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Two? What's two? I just heard. Ooh, I'm getting value. My channel rule. <laughs> I will set another card face down. It is your move. Draw. Okay. New skill. Right. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> Wait, what's that? Please. Needle bug nest. What's that? We both mill 10. Why, why is that bad for you? My deck is... I think I die. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Did I just lose? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I have two cards in my deck. Oh, I have to kill him this turn? Oh, you don't die until you have to draw a card. <laughs> Alright. No, my Wayne Dragon of Raw! Alright, Max. Serious <laughs> Guys, recruiters, buddy. I'm glad they pay dividends for you. I can't, I can't do anything. Yeah. Wait, let me attack with the little Jamas. I want, I want I... them to... So much. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> Just go. I can't do anything. My cards are gone. I'll activate block attack on your Irby. Irby is in defense. Beat me like a real duel, Ned. <laughs> Ram all your dramas. Tack, 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 tack. Oh, that's you take, so you take. Wait, <laughs> six thousand. Hold on. No, no sharking. It's at, they're they're at zero, right? You take a thousand per. I'm at still at twenty four. I'm at seventy four. Nice try, Max. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Attack. I'm like a real duel. Yes. <laughs> I thought they were at zero. They are zero. You're at a thousand. So it's like eight hundred defense. All right. Like sure, I take four thousand. Yeah, my okay. bad. Yes. Sure, I take four thousand. Yeah, I did have the Kribo. <sighs> oh my god. Gummy was waiting in the wings. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> that the region destroyed me. Good. Uh, that was that was that was, cool. that was cool. That was deserved. I like that. I'm just happy. I don't have to deal with Ned again. <laughs> Good game, Max. You tried. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I, I, I don't know how much that matters in this form. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it matters a bit. All right, I draw six. Sorry. I'll I'll draw six. I will go first. Okay. All right, go ahead. Cool. My deck is flawless. My deck is not, um, <laughs> not flawless. All right, let's see. My deck's pretty good. Uh, we're going to start with Wind Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, yes. <laughs> number one. Number two is worse, I think. Maybe he's better, actually. I don't really remember. Someone. Yeah. Go ahead. Draw. I'll normal summon a Kiyosube. <laughs> I did check out the attack attack. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. I'll leave the main chase. That's, yeah. Declare attack on uh, yes. Wind Dragon, Guardian of the Forest. Fortress number, number one. one. Fortress yeah. number one. I will take it. 100 points oh, of damage. Man. And, um,. That will be my turn. All right. Heart of the cards. Each player secretly places any card in their deck on top of their deck. There's nothing there's in my not deck. Much, there's not there's much, nothing there's in not my deck that I would like to see right now. There's, all right. I'm gonna normal summon Ryo Kishin powered. No. I know. And uh, I'll attack. I'll take a, a <laughs> another hundred. Very good. Pass. Draw. This is one of the better cards in the whole format. I don't. I doubt your deck plays anything that beats it, unless you put it on top of your deck. Then maybe. You... Seven mystery monster. Fair enough. Seven mystery monster. I didn't realize you had a trap in your deck, honestly, but it's okay. Well, spell or trap. Spell or trap. That's true. I'm not trying. All right. Draw. I guess we'll just see what that is first. I'll just enter battle. Yep. Attack Mystic Elf probably. He sang in even better. All right. Well, is that the card you secretly put on top of your deck? <laughs> Just to add a different card publicly? <laughs> Potentially. Okay, fair enough. Potentially. I'll get Magical White Hat. Oh, okay. Seeing him get White Magical Hat, I'm fairly confident he put a removal spell on top of his deck with Heart of the Cards. And now I feel like I probably should have put Magic Jammer <laughs> to protect myself from that. I'm not gonna play any monsters this turn though because I do believe he has Regeki in his deck. So if Regeki is the card that he picked, setting Man Eater Bug now would be pointless. It'd just get destroyed by Regeki. So I'll hold it off one more turn. 
and I'll let Magical Hats connect, it's fine. All right, well, you just have Regeki, and I just can't beat that. Uh, that's probably the card you secretly put on top of your deck. Okay, um, I guess I'll end. I'll draw for my turn. Okay, you go ahead and flip it. <laughs> You're allowed to some Dangerous fancy. Machine Type 6. Okay. This is a card so, from Phantom Darkness, I believe. Light of Destruction. Light of Destruction. Okay. So you're going to roll six out of die, and based off the results, you get an effect. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. So each of you will do this until the next skill happens. Yeah. Your standby phase. One. Discard one card. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'll discard. Sogan. So okay, that's fine. Yeah, go for it. Mm -hmm. Right, Gecky. I, I, I had to read. Could have been anything. I will. No, so then. Yeah. Uh, he does damage. I discard a card. Yeah. He's like he's like Spear Reaper sort of. Yeah. All right. And I uh, got some, I got some unfortunate news for you, Ryan. Yeah. So, I actually drew the right Gecky with my opening hand. Oh no. Octane or Robin Oh, I lose two cards. That That's was really card. good. That is a really good combo. I'll All right. I'll end my That's main pretty phase. good, yeah. Battle phase. Declare uh, the direct attack with magical white hat. Yeesh. Yeah. I lose Creeper two. Nice. Alright. would have been nice. Oh, you're one to five right there. Yep. Six. Five. With that card. Not my, not my black land fire dragon. One to four. I needed him. One. He was the crux of my strategy. Not Princess of Tsurugi. <laughs> because he opened with Regeki, he actually put Robin Goblin on top of his deck. So now I'm going to lose two cards, which is a bit more than I was expecting. But hopefully one of the event cards that will flip will flip it back in my favor. <laughs> my uh, burn deck is in pieces now. All right. Now, as long as Dangerous Machine doesn't... Maybe Dangerous Machine will, will, will let me draw a card. I think that's what happens if I roll a three or something. And, um... That's my turn, go All ahead. Right. I'll draw, and I will... I'm gonna, I'm gonna wish for a three to draw a card. All right, let's hope not for a three. Oh. Nice. Well, <laughs> uh, I guess I don't need the other Prince of Sur Princess of Surugi. Oh. I guess. The event card did not put it back in my favor. <laughs> it, did, it did make me discard additional card. I'll let that one slide. All right, I'm gonna set one monster and I'm gonna pass. This is a powerful combo that you have here. I'll draw. Um, let's roll. Yeah. Four. I believe that's I draw a card. Your opponent, Your opponent a card. draws a right. card. <laughs> that, Fair that, enough. All right. All right. We're the, back. The... We're back in it. Set a monster. Pass it to you. Draw a turn. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have to do this sleep. No. no. Oh, a new skill. Right. New okay. New event. Uh, let's see this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Exchange. We both were. You add a card from their hands and you keep it. So you keep right. my wish of the Black Forest. It's permanent for the rest of the day. Oh my god. <laughs> you get a pick. When that exchange flipped, I was feeling good. He had Witch of the Black Forest. I had to keep that card permanently, and it does a lot for me. All right, that was pretty bad. <laughs> it's. I think it just feels worse because I drew Witch of the Black Forest for turn. My hand was pretty, pretty mediocre, and then I drew one of the four probably really good cards in my deck that I have to, to, to pass off onto him. So now it feels like even if I win this game, I still lost a really crucial part of my deck. Yes, sort of I'm gonna take. Oh, man. Oh, this is actually fine. Yeah, okay, sure. Here you go. That'll help. Okay, that's, you know what? That's obviously terrible, but <laughs> but of all, I thought this was like 300 to like, it's like no, a fiend. I no. was like, that's really bad. Yeah, my whole kind of deck well, is just kind of like these guys uh, and just pushing. All right, so now I know you have Witch of the Black Forest. Um, then we can, I'm gonna man your bug. No, monster. my Yado Karu. I know. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna lose this guy too. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna normal summon Ancient Brain. Yep. I'm gonna equip him with Sword of the Deep Seated. Yep. We're gonna enter Battle Face. I'm gonna attack White White Magical Hat for 500. I'll and attack the Mater Bug for 450. I'll take it. Unfortunately, he was able to get rid of my White Magical Hat, which means that I, I wasn't able to keep that presence. But I'm still happy with that forest. Um, that'll do it. Yeah. Okay, okay, All right. Ahead. I will draw for my turn. Oh boy, you're in big trouble now. 
No sign. I have course. just the thing for that. No! Tributing <laughs> Manny Nervuck. Look at that value! No! <laughs> to negate. Reach the Black I Forest. Can't even get the I know, that's crazy, isn't it? Oh man. Oh my god. Your brain's looking nice here, isn't he? <laughs> Alright, draw. Draw. Oh, oh, not even uh -huh. push. Normal summon Black Man Fire Dragon. Yeah. Regeki is gone, the coast is clear. Attack 15. I'll take it. Attack 15. Yep. Alright. Uh, go ahead. And then I believe in you. A new one flips. Uh-oh. Don't. <sighs> no. <laughs> Skull <Scope. laughs> So, okay. Skull drain. Uh, oh, no. All right. Uh, you know, uh, I think we're fine here. The next three tri Yeah. Shoot. Whatever. I know. Whatever can we do to that one? <laughs> I'll set a monster. Wow. I think it's 70 under defense. And my I just can't kill it. That thing has so much defense. <laughs> all right. Draw. Um, Just a warning, all your effect monsters. I am unfortunately aware. I've seen your hand a little while ago, so I know you shouldn't have anything for this. I'm gonna tribute something. Uh-oh. Sangha of the Thunder, <laughs> tributing Ancient Brain of Blackland Fire Dragon. And then, unfortunately, Sword of the Deep Seated must go back on top of my deck. As much as I wish it did not have to go there. But yeah, enter battle, attack. Yep. Man don't be a manager bug, please. <laughs> all right. <laughs> go ahead. Draw. Yeah. Why would he set manager bug under skill drain? That's a good point. I didn't. I didn't think about that. That's a great. That's a great point. Go ahead. All right. This is where draw. You get it. Uh, it's a new skull. It's gonna be the regeki, or it's gonna be the switch fields one, and I'm just <laughs> gonna scream. Oh, this is a. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. No. <laughs> Each player trip must tribute a monster they control yes. and summon a monster from the deck with one or two levels higher, even if one does not exist in your deck. The song is seven or eight. Or two levels higher, so I don't have one, so I just tribute. <laughs> oh, no. By time magic, we'll summon Blue Eyes White Dragon to the oh, field. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Things are looking a little rough they're for looking me now. Li they're, they're, they're looking... Uh, you know what? I think, I, I think I'm think i okay with this trade. I guess I'll just go ahead. I'll enter battle phase. Yeah. Attack. Yep. All right. You see 3,000. You're at uh, 950. Uh -oh. Go ahead. Draw. Oh, my turn. All right. Draw. I need a monster with respect to bull attack points. Hmm. That's close, I guess, but not quite. Uh, battle, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> My All castle right. of Dark Illusions is yeah. gone. Um, All right. Go ahead. If it's the hand switch one, there's no way I can ever win. All right, I'll, I'm going right. to pass. Don't be the hand switch one. <laughs> is it the hand switch one? This is the... Oh, it's the board switch one. That's fine. You know what's crazy? I didn't set anything because I... Oh no, I lose that forever now! Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh my gosh. The board gets swapped! I get the blue eyes! I get to keep the blue eyes! I'm a big monster on the field. It's not looking good for Ryan. Okay. All right. All right. At what cost? Oh man. Okay, this is still better than the hand switch one, probably. I'll no summon destroyer gold. Yeah, that's good. Alright, let's see here. Yeah. Alright, six thousand. I'll activate my field spell. So good. So good. Warriors and beast warriors. Fortunately, which are zero of them. Interesting choice. Yeah. I'll enter the battle phase. Yeah. I'll attack for fifteen hundred points of damage. And then uh three thousand points of damage. Yeah. But at that point, why not just set it? Because right. his monsters get buffed by now. All right. My go? Go ahead. All right. I have a couple outs in my deck. I got a couple. I got a couple of them. Draw. That is one of them. Oh, no. I don't Heavy get storm. that. No! My tremendous fire. So you are at 950. I'm going to go ahead and Hinotam for, for 500. Yep. Oh, no. Summon Cannon Soldier. Priority. No! <laughs> I think your deck improved a lot in this match, though. 
You know what? I might have lost the battle. <laughs> but you might have won the war. <laughs> <laughs> I think you win the war. So, managed to pull out a win on this one. Uh, my deck's looking a little worse for wear, but hopefully MRO can, can patch a few of those holes. I don't really need True Nade because I already have Heavy Storm, so I can probably focus on more removal-based cards, and maybe even something like Snatch Deal would be a nice first pick, and I can let some of the other ones go. But I think I'm in a decent spot, and uh, let's see if I can carry this one momentum forward. Although it was an unfortunate loss, I'm happy about that Witch being in my deck, I'm happy about that Blue Eyes being in my deck, and I'm going to be looking to kind of build my strategy based on those cards to going forward. I'm feeling good. All right, Ryan. Hi. Go. Team Canada versus Team Canada. Yeah, I guess that'll be fine. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how you drafted. I don't, I don't know either, actually. I, I haven't really done this before. <laughs> you, who did you send next to you, Alec? Yeah. I mean, he drafts a good amount. Hmm. He, yeah. gave me, he gave me pretty good cards. Did he? Yeah. All right, let's see how this goes. Two. Five? Is it you draw six? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll go first. All right, good luck. Okay, good luck. Okay, so draw for turn. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> These do nothing. <laughs> they still activate on me. Sure, what does that one do? Uh, boosts fiends and spellcasters by 200 attack and defense, and fairies lose at 200 attack and defense. Okay. Uh, I'll set one and pass. Do I have a turn? Yep. Uh, main phase one? Uh huh. I'll just set a monster and pass as well. Okay, uh, draw? Yep, this is their turn, so first event happens. Oh, cool. Wait, so it's uh, every three turns? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Dark Rabbit virus? I like this one. This one is crazy. Each player does the following. Secretly write down a number. When your opponent summons their X monster from now, where X is the number you chose, transform it into a Dark Rabbit permanently. Yep, so the card leaves the draft forever. Okay. This is probably my favorite Pegasus event card because there's levels to it. Now, this game is still so early on and I feel like it might be a long one. I'm gonna go for a high number here. What I'm hoping to accomplish is, give, is like make him take more time now to try and play around it. And just that threat of it existing will kind of keep him off from playing his powerful monsters. And I think that may be more valuable than turning a monster into Dark Rabbit itself. So high numbers here, and I want to see event cards because I have a lot of the good ones to summon off of the events. I decided to go with six because I don't want to. I don't want to make it a small number like one or two because I think Jesse might try to bait it out early on. But I also can't do something too high because then we might not get there. So I thought six was a good middle ground for that card. Okay, wow. That's my favorite skill. That one's funny. <laughs> Stand by. This mid. is a really funny one. I'll normal summon the Bistro Butcher. Yeah, it is not a Dark Rabbit. Uh, he's at 2,000 because okay. of Yami. I'll flip summon Mask Sorcerer. Yeah. So two summons. Sure. This is at 11 because it's Spellcaster. Okay. Battleface? Nope. Oh, ba oh, I think you said Bottomless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Battleface. <laughs> yeah, Battleface is fine. Uh, I'll attack with the Butcher. Uh, at 2,000? Yeah. Unfortunately, so is the Cocoon of Evolution. Oh Can my I? god. Yeah. It, it, it. <laughs> <laughs> It this does, does nothing, it just it, sets. It, it's 2,000 yeah, defense. Yeah, yeah. I'll set one and go ahead. Draw. Mm -hmm. Normal summon Harpy Lady. Sure. <laughs> and then I'll activate Elegant Egotist on the Harpy Lady. What? Sure. Special summon another Harpy Lady from the deck. Is this still nothing? It's two it's summons? Still nothing, yep. No. Okay. Enter battle phase. Sure. I'll attack the Beast Butcher. Ah. So I'll take 600 and then draw two cards? <laughs> yeah. I did not expect the Bistro Butcher to betray me like this. I thought he had 1800 attack, he'd be pretty good. But I think I've overlooked his effect. <laughs> and then I will attack the Masked Sorcerer. Are you 1100? Uh, yeah, 200? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I did the damage wrong, actually. I thought it was 14 for some reason. Maybe this card isn't so good. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> draw. <sighs> In. I'll activate the Sword of Deep Seated. Okay. So it's a 25. Yep. Uh, I will destroy the Cocoon of Evolution. Okay. I will set the monster. Oh, draw for turn. Yep. And new skill flips or event. Okay. okay. High Tide. Ooh, this one's also crazy. That one's super nice. Okay, so you're both going to roll a die. 
and um, Zonas gets picked based on the, uh, the result. So each one rolls a dice, select one monster zone into the field, one closest to main deck, five closest to the extra deck. Um, every monster not in those zones dies unless it's a water. Okay. okay. So I rolled four, so only this zone is safe, and this is not a water, so it dies. Oh, I see what, oh, oh. oh. Only oh. this zone is safe. Yes. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Oh. So your zone five is safe, this dies. Wait, so this is safe, and then this dies? This has to be a water, and then it's not, so. And then. Yep, so now only until the end of this, uh, this event, uh, only waters can be played in those zones. Uh -huh. or, uh, yeah. So if I summon a monster here, and it's not a water, it will still die. Oh. Luckily, I have a water. Wait, so your safe zone is here? My safe zone is here. My third summon resolves no dark rabbit yet. Ryan, uh, as much as he doesn't understand the old formats, he is a good duelist, and he knows this threat of the dark rabbit will keep me wary as well, so he didn't put anything too early. He's uh, not as dumb as uh, his draft choices may seem to be at the moment. Um, and then, Seven Colored Fish will attack your face down. It is another beast or He does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> How many summons is that? Three? This is the third summon. Okay. Um, uh, I'm really behind the Go ahead. Well, you gave me two free cards. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait, you put the sword on top of your deck, right? Yeah. Okay. I drew the sword. Yeah. Where's my safe zone here? Yeah. I will normal summon blue winged crown. Yeah, that's not a beast of butcher, I want more cards. Uh, activate sword. Okay, so is it 21? And then attack for 300. So I take 300. So 7k? Yes. Uh, go ahead. Draw. Mm -hmm. There's one more turn of the high tide left. Oh, they get replaced whenever a new one comes out? Yeah, well, this one says for the next few turns, so this one gets replaced. This one does not. <laughs> it's always going to be there. Uh, I'll just set a monster face down. And then I'll pass. And yeah. You turn, you have something else coming up. And then I'll put Yep. Oh, spell, spell. That's bad. Ooh. Wait, is that good for me or bad for me? It negates every spell, right? Yeah. Yep. For the next three turns, the effects of all spell cards are negated. That's all. That sucks. So they're just stuck there now for... Yeah. Hey, now if I kill it, it doesn't go to the top of the deck at least. It doesn't stay on the field. Ah, <sighs> yeah. oh, this is so unfortunate. My field spell and all my swords are going to be dead for the next three turns. This spell stun looks bad for him, but my hand's also all spells. So he doesn't know it, but I can't do anything now either. There's not that much pressure, so I'll just wait it out, but this wasn't convenient for me either. Incredible. Alphys? Yep. 16. Uh, big guy. So I look oh, at the top right. five cards on my deck and I get to rearrange them. Right? That's what it does? Yeah. You yep. You suck. I'm picking this to shuffle the rest. So, yes, I grabbed Witch the Black Forest off the big eye because I saw my five cards. They sucked. So just wanted those out of the deck uh, and then shuffled again so I can see something a little more useful than what I saw coming. Go ahead. Drop the turn. So it's turn two of spell stack. Yeah. And set. <laughs> Go. Draw. So lame. <laughs> I can't do anything. Final turn of spell stack. Normal summon? Trial of hell? Nightmare. Trial of nightmare? Okay. So what is it at now? Fifth? Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's weak. Is this over by now? Yeah, it's over. Yeah. Uh, well, this was your this was your fourth summon, right? Yeah. Yes. And Jesse's at two. Jesse's on Jesse. <laughs> Three, right? Harpy Lady, Harpy Lady, Harpy Lady seven colored. Yeah. Oh man, this is a pain to keep track of. Yeah, no, I got it. Uh, yeah. Crowned will attack the Witch of the Black Forest. So I can shuffle my deck. How much defense is that? Twelve. Okay, damn. I could have been greedy. Uh, I'll add. I don't really have a good target for this. I'll add Zangan. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll attack for 13. I just need a shuffle. Uh, I'll take 13, yeah. Interesting? Yep. Go ahead. All right, please don't swap my hand. Please don't swap my hand. Yeah. So 13. Yep. Draw for turn. And then new thing? What the hell is my hand? <laughs> well, I'll do skill will flip and give it to your opponent, so it's okay. Time magic 1000. 
Oh. Flip a coin. If heads, then destroy all monsters on the on turn player's field. If tails, destroy all monsters on your field. Oh no. Then if the person who lost their field has a thousand dragon, they can summon it from their extra deck. I don't think any of us pulled it. Thousand dragon is secret rare. Okay, so are you. Nice. My field dies if I don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been the stack yeah. too. <sighs> Dodged a bullet there. If that time magic went Jesse's way, I think the duel might have ended because I don't really have any good monsters in hand and that sword would have been my next draw. Uh, I'll normal summon Harpy Lady. Should I grab a trigger? Uh, is your force on Yeah. Wait, can I read deck right? <laughs> <laughs> it does nothing. Yeah. Well. Alright, well, I'll get to <laughs> Harpy Lady. Sure. Are you out of Harpy? Oh, Did wait, you, no, it's not. You actually three. just play seven <laughs> Elegant Eagles in your deck? Ten. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of doing this? <laughs> to bait out Dark Rabbit. <laughs> How about now? Five. No. no. Ah. Okay. Alright, I'll have to get shared the pain, tribute right. to destroy the. Can I? Yep. Tribute's a monster to destroy a monster. Do I get to choose? Or you do. He gets to choose. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I have not. That's why you play as 10 all gonna get this. I have like four of these. Deck building. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll drop for turn. Wait, do I have to apply this? No, just the ones. No. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and then I will normal summon Tang again. Wouldn't it be a shame if on the sixth no. summon, the Dark Rabbit virus takes no, over? Please, no, please, <laughs> no! And the is returned into Dark Rabbit. Oh my god, why? Dark Rabbit, I won. Six was the right number. Dude. Uh, yeah, you got me. <laughs> I mean, maybe I should have waited more, but... Ah, uh, I lose this permanently. Sangha is such a good card. At least I still have Witch of the Black Forest on my deck, so if I can get Mystic Tomatoes next draft, that'd be good, but... Man, that's rough right now. Why well, Sangin? <laughs> oh no, I'm... Oh. What is it, a fiend? No. <laughs> it's a beast? Okay. Attack for 11. Sure. <laughs> this feels like a... This feels like a win. That was frustrating. Your turn. Yeah. <laughs> Flip the top card again. Oh my oh god! My. Wait, so the winner gets to choose a card, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. The winner of this duel can choose any card from their opponent's oh, deck and man. take it. Oh man, things are interesting now. Now if I lose, I could lose my Regeki as well, on top of the same game. If I don't win this duel, I'm probably set up for failure now for the rest of this draft. The stakes just got higher, man. The stakes just got higher. Almost I'm in Dark King of the Abyss. How big is that? 14. Oh yeah. my god, yep. This card. The 19, yep. yep. 800? So many. Uh, How take... many summons is this? <laughs> oh, okay, so I believe that should fit from the most second side. Yeah, it should be fair. I'll take 800. I'm getting saved by the Dark Rabbit Oh my god. <laughs> that was so annoying. Go ahead. Drop. What the? I will set a monster face down. Mm -hmm. And then your turn. Yeah. Draft? <clears throat> yep. Activate an every sword. Oh my god. Yep. 24. Damn it, you killed on the cocoon of evolution. Thank god. I was playing around the cocoon. Go ahead. Draw for turn. If you out this, I'm kind of screwed. And then this flips again. Yeah. Who let the tributes out? Oh, you can summon without tributing. Oh, no. I'll summon Slime for the Sky Dragon! <laughs> oh, no! He has 4,000 attack points. Uh-oh. Sangin was a worthy sacrifice. Am I getting Mirror Force? <laughs> oh, my God. I, I can't lose Slifer. <laughs> Slifer attack. Sure. Oh, thank God. So, 16? Yeah. And then both of these go. Oh, that was not very good. Oh, it's a good thing this one. 
Can you imagine? That was sort of the dark red. Well, that's why I'm, I'm just slamming it down. The, uh, uh, it your turn. Can I like read my first step? Yeah. I got it. Oh, well, that's problematic. <laughs> yeah, you, I think you're gonna need an event card <laughs> to change <laughs> this. Probably. Probably. It'll be 5,000 next turn. This is horrible. <laughs> your next draw is Deep Sea and Sword. <laughs> Uh, you need this event card to help you on your next turn. Oh, wait. Remember something? Oh, that works. Oh, oh. god. So, guys, down to 600? Yeah. Is it permanent? At this point, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose to this Swifer. I gotta summon the Senga, let it die to another monster, and then just I have to hope that this next Pegasus skill is gonna turn the tides. Should be. Okay. Uh, 600 attack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Go. Draw. I will. Normal summon Ancient Brain. <laughs> yeah. And then Ancient Brain will attack Sangula Thunder. Yeah, that's very bad. Okay. Yep, so I'll take 600. 600. And then Slifer will attack. For a 34. Lot. How many? Right? Four. Four. Okay, yeah. Okay, 17. I'm at 43. I think I kind of just need the event to be something good because I'm not drawing anything good. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, that is not good for you. What's this? Every time you activate a card or effect, or summon a monster, I draw a card. And vice versa for me when I summon. Ah, uh, that's not what I needed. But on the bright side, I can probably give Jesse like a 9,000 attack slifer before I lose. Activate? So I draw. Yeah. Okay. Activate. 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 <laughs> <laughs> slifer the Sky uh, Dragon! The sky dragon. <laughs> okay, so. I've definitely learned a couple things from this new experience with drafting with old cards. No more Beast Rope Butcher. That card's bad. Maybe no more Sword of Deep Sea Day. I'm gonna have to think about it, but I'm looking forward to the next episode. I'll get some redemption. Now, one Canadian down. It is a team kill, but I gotta assert myself as the top Canadian, as well as Canada winning the war, obviously. I can't believe I already got to showcase the power of the Pegasus event cards. That is why I chose Slifer. Was a bit lucky, to be honest, because uh, things were looking a bit precarious for me, but one down, four to go, we're looking all right. And I got to steal a card from him. So, now one odd mirror force, which means everyone else will have to fear me. They can't just attack recklessly. Which also means, if the games go longer, more chance for those event cards. All right, that is episode one of the 25th anniversary draft. Hope you guys found it as absolutely as crazy and intense as I did. Unlike other draft series we do on Duel Night, the cards we keep stay with us. So as the series progresses, our decks will get stronger in a progression type of style, but still incorporating the draft and the Pegasus events. So there's still a lot of chaos that is likely to happen, and I'm very excited to see who turns out the victor this time. See you guys then. Peace.